This is a new format I'm calling Anna Monthly, spotlighting amazing animation on the internet. All links can be found below. Guano0708 revealed their incredible Ranma fan animation. Now, it may come as a shock, but this fight scene isn't actually hand-drawn. This is entirely done in Blender using forced perspective tricks and fully keyed out movement. Closing out the frames with holds like traditional 2D animation gives it a much more intentional and traditional look. People sometimes refer to this as stepped animation, and it's become a lot more popular since Spider-Verse. Animator Gray has also been doing some similar work with his custom Sonic rig. And here's a work in progress example of what it can do. This is Yotam Perel, one of my favorite animators. He's documented his life with an animated music video for every single birthday he's had since he was 15 years old. He is now in his 30s. I recommend checking out one of his funniest cartoons, When Your Dad Dies. In case you missed it, Drone is an animated short film about a military predator drone installed with AI that suffers with the burden of having a conscience. It's a 15 minute short film, and I highly recommend you guys give it a watch. Animation assisted by AI has been a bit of a controversial topic this last month with Corridor Digital Short being released, but there's finally some developments with AI that are actually quite promising to people who aren't afraid of picking up a pencil. Cadmium revealed their animation software package that takes your own animation with only as little as one frame of animation colored, it can apply color to the rest of the frames with decent accuracy. I hope we see more AI tools like this in future that use the artist's own work as the dataset. In a funny retaliation of AI animation, PK Kenzie shared a do-it-yourself template for caramel dancing, telling people to reject AI animation and embrace tradition. If you scroll through the replies, it looks like a lot of people did just that. Maybe try making your own. Harutima415 created this fantastic magical girl transformation of Hololive's Ina. Andre Michinen has been creating a ton of really awesome low poly animations um, that imitate that kind of N64 look. I recommend checking out more of their stuff. Animator Lon started a thread where they're studying anatomy, but instead of just drawing it, they're animating all the muscles of the human body in incredible detail. Go check out their work to find out more stuff like this. Jay's Candy Hell made this incredibly badass animation of what it would have looked like if Goku's brother Raditz ever managed to go Super Saiyan. At one point, DreamWorks were working on this film called Me and My Shadow. The film was going to be a 3D animated except for the protagonist's living shadow, which was going to be entirely 2D. While the film was entirely cancelled, Insanimate wanted to try and envision how the shadow could have moved. This is not happening! Sorry. I just kind of flipped out there, man. I'm not a violent person, okay? You know me, I'm not a violent guy. You gotta watch what you say to people. Words have consequences, dude. Obi-Wan on Twitter showed us what it could look like if you carved every frame of Bad Apple into an apple. Though, don't be fooled. This is actually a really, really clever fake using an elaborate custom shader and moving the same apple around many times over. Yeah, the apple uses a bunch of noise nodes and alpha textures and stuff like that. Friend of the channel, Caddy, released his surrealist cartoon about getting a pet goldfish. You can check out the full thing below on Newgrounds. The Nintendo 3DS store closed down for good, but this isn't stopping animator Wayne Unten, or O Dino Poop, from making all manner of films using only a Nintendo 3DS. This here is their most recent film, which you should definitely go and check out. After a really long time, we finally have the pilot for Lackadaisy, which, um, if you have not seen this yet, you need to check it out. It is one of the most incredible accomplishments in YouTube animation, period, please go check it out if you haven't already. It's got already got like 4.6 million views in like six days. Like, go and watch it. Do yourself, get, go and watch it. If you've done or seen anything cool that I should share in a future video, tweet it at me. Have a good one.